Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter Barber. I'm primarily a professional opera singer, music producer, bass vocalist, and host of the podcast Vocal Arts with Peter Barber. Today I'm going to be doing a vocal analysis and musical breakdown of one of my favorite songs ever made. This is Enemy by Imagine Dragons from one of the best shows ever made called Arcane League of Legends. Um, I have done my own cover of this song that just hit 50,000 views, uh, criminally, criminally underappreciated. I'm still so, 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 so proud of this project. It's my favorite project ever. Here's a clip of it. Cause I had a not had a thought about breaking never caught an opposition, kinda shocking they want a static position. I'm automatic quarterback, I ain't talking sack it, pack it, pack it up, I don't panic, better, better, put a better, so don't matter, cause we get to show everybody wants to be my enemy. But I wanted to just die, just haven't, uh, I've done reaction and analysis videos for a number of versions of this song, but I've never actually done it for the original. So I figured it was about time to do that. So guys, please like, subscribe, leave a comment for the algorithm. Consider joining my Patreon if I am enhancing your listening experience. That's my whole goal here to educate and help you appreciate these amazing artists. And without further ado, let's dive into Enemy by Imagine Dragons and Jid. I'm so excited to watch this again. It's been a long time. <sighs> Powder. And I love that they're in the video. Like, their animated characters are in the video. That's so sick. There's Dan. Who I have seen live. For my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that I told when my back is to the world that was smiling when I turned. Yes. Okay. Wait. Let me go back to the beginning. Break this whole thing down musically. So the first we get this synth wave that kind of leads us into it. It's just kind of. It's almost like a subconscious thing. It just kind of engages your brain in what's happening before you even realize it. And then we get this huge hit uh, right after that little that little synth intro. Which is like distorted brass and a number of different percussive sound effects, a kick drum layered in there. It's like four or five things happening all at once. And then we get this other this other kind of warped synth thing. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. And then it kind of retardandos down into Dan coming in. And the rest of the band. stories that I my back is to the world that was smiling when I turned. What we have here, what's so cool about this is that there's, because they hit so hard at the start of each phrase, it feels like there's like empty space in between and it makes those attacks on beat one so much more interesting because it feels like there's all this space in between them. So all we have on this on on B one we have this kick we have a brass boom, boom I think going back between what G and F sharp, yeah, boom boom, um, and then we have this plunk 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 sound effect as well. So we just have kick snare the these brass hits, and then we have when I wake up when we have um. Dan kind of over top of it really singing lightly he's it's almost like he's you think about staying light on your feet if you're like an athlete he's doing that vocally so he's he's keeping very light and that's so he can move really fast with his voice it's it's light articulation so that you can really spit out the consonants because it's easy if you're trying to wrap the section to kind of get sloppy with it which I'll demonstrate here and turn it more into like triplets 
I wake up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that I told. Instead, those are really triplets. Da, 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 da. It's it has to be more crisp, but they're not quite triplets. But it has to be when I wake up to the sounds of the silence that allows. It's a very subtle difference, but it makes the text and the and the and the rap and the rhythm so much more crisp if you don't relax that tempo. So to do that, you want to stay light on the voice, which is what Dan's doing. Up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that I told when my back is to the world that was smiling when I turn. So, what we have here is everything's same in the background, same hit on beat one with the plunking, but we have added harmonies here. We have Dan up in his head voice, his lighter mechanism. Tell you. So it's much lighter, and the harmonies in the background too are much lighter. And they're also there's a lot of effects on them to making it this very like atmospheric kind of washy, uh, amorphous kind of thing, which is really smart because then the chorus comes in and it's like the vocals are right back in your face. Stories that I told when my back is to the world, that was smiling when I turn. It's like. Same same kick snare pattern. Now we have this cool. We have this like weird. Uh, let's I'll, I'll see if I can highlight that better. That's kind of what it sounds like in the background. So that's added, and then we have of course layered uh, harm like doubled, tripled, quadrupled vocals, making it more like gang vocals for this chorus. So he's getting up to high B's there. Is he always flipping to head voice? I think he is actually the whole time. Dan can sing that high in chest voice. Um, but I think in this song he always opts for that flip. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Those are still E fours and D fours, which for a, for a tenor voice is is not difficult at all. Um, for me, singing in that octave, it's much more uh, it's more difficult to sit up there comfortably because naturally I'm a bass, um, and so a lot of my cover is done both in the original octave, but like mainly in the octave and octaves down, uh, which is which is you know one thing that makes it different, which is what you want to do in a cover. So now I have this hi hats going, and we have this. Also, this kind of dubstepy effect, which is actually kind of what inspired me to turn this into like a dubstep remix in my version. If you do listen to it, and we do have some effects on the vocals, darkening them. E e e e e. Like kind of making it sound more like a bassy voice, you can do that by messing with what's called the formants in your audio interface. It's like manufactured to sound darker and lower. Like. 
melody. Your words up on the wall as you're praying for my phone. And the laughter in the holes and the names that I've been called. I stack it in my mind and I'm waiting for the time when I show you what it's like to be worth spit in a mind. So this is actually the same as far as instrumentation and vocals too. There's obviously different text, but we have this. going on in the background. But I'm ready. Your words up on the wall as you're praying for my phone and the laughter in the holes and the names that I've been called. I stack it in my mind and I'm waiting for the time when I show you what it's like to be worth spitting a mind There, there's the high B and full gritty rock belt chest voice. For the time when I show you what it's like to be worth spitting a mind So what they did there is they they cut out all the they cut out everything except the vocals. So it's just this weird kind of dark chorus vocals, drums gone, you know, all the rhythm is gone. And then it again comes back hard and it presents this awesome contrast going into the second chorus. Mm. So what's happening here that they've added? They've only added one element. Actually, I think they've added hi hats. Let me go back for a second. Be my enemy. No, they so they had hi hats. They've added that element. That was not there in the first chorus. There also might be some very light, reverbed out, like atmospheric vocals, just like, uh, like really breathy and airy and just kind of like, just filling in the space a little bit to the point where I, I'm not even sure and I have pretty nice headphones on. Yeah. Look, okay, I'm hoping that somebody pray for me. I'm praying that somebody hope for me. I'm staying where nobody supposed to be. I proposed it, being a wreck of emotions. Ready to go whenever you let me know. The road is long, so put the pedal into the flow. The energy on my trail, my energy unavailable. I'm gonna tell him I said the way go. So we still have the kick drum. We still have the brass. We still have the the plunking, I think. Okay, I'm hoping that somebody pray for me. I'm Praying that somebody hope for me. I'm staying where nobody supposed to be. Purple being a wreck of emotions. Ready to go whenever you let me know. The road is long, so put the pedal into the floor. But it's very stripped down. You can you can feel and hear there are fewer elements. And the focus really is more on his rapping here. So there's all these instruments, all these instruments, and then it's just like. Somebody pray for me. I'm praying that somebody hope for me. I'm staying where nobody supposed to be. Papa posted, being a wreck of emotions. Ready to go whenever you let me know. The road is long, so put the pedal into the flow. The energy on my trail, my energy unavailable. I'm gonna tell the the way go. Hey, when I fly on my drive to the top, I've been out of shape, taking out the box. I'm an astronaut. I blasted off the planet, rocked the cause. Now, this part, they just. They bring that part back, but they keep everything out and they just hit like these 808s. It's like. Let me know the road is long, so put the pedal into the flow. The energy on my trail, my energy unavailable. I'ma tell him I said the way go. Hey, when I fly on my drive to the top, I've been out of shape, taking out the box. I'm an astronaut. I blasted off the planet, rocked the cause catastrophe, and it matters more because I had it. Now I had I thought about wreaking havoc. And then everything cuts out. And then one static with precision, I'm automatic. Quarterback, I ain't talking second packet, pack it up on panic, batter, batter up. Who the baddest? It don't matter because we just. So enough, they use that technique again where they take elements out. At this point, they take everything out except his voice. So it's kind of similar to right before chorus two, when it was just voices. It was a chorus of voices, multiple multi-layered voices. This is just one single track of Jid rapping, and that's all you hear before 
the third chorus drops. I thought about wreaking havoc on an opposition, kind of shocking. And they want to set up a position, I'm automatic. Quarterback ain't talking, second pack it, pack it up. All panic, batter, batter. Who the batter said, I'm mad because we get your throat. Oh, Jinx. You get this really high, that really high horn squeal. We don't have that until this final chorus. Faster hi hat. And add it. You can hear the, the, the chorus in the background too. There have been more harmonies. So this is when everything comes together. You've got the most intense drum part, kick snare still happening, Dan ripping in his high chest voice with the with the flip up to head on those high Bs. Then you have all this extra chorus in the background. Um, you have that you have that uh, high brass hit at the start of the phrase. So it's just like all the elements have now come together to make this the most epic and intense part of the song. And then in the last, the, just the last bit, uh, they take away a few elements and kind of wind it down in a sense compared to the a few moments before. Everything, 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 everything. It's just less spilled out. My enemy. Oh, it's so good. It's one of it's one of my favorite songs ever, probably. I just don't think it could be done better. Um, I don't think it could have been written better. It's just like every element of it is perfect and also perfect for the show. If you haven't seen the show, guys, you don't need to know anything about League of Legends. I don't even think you need to like animation for it. It is a masterpiece. Um, another thing you guys should watch which I'll link here, not a video of mine, is like the 15 minute cold open, I think is what it's from, for the League of Legends World final this year. I didn't watch it, but the cold open is some of the main music videos for the music from the show. And it's just incredible. It's just 15 minutes of like incredible music and amazing animation. And I think this is taken from that. Uh, it's absolutely sensational. So I'll link that. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this analysis. Um, obviously, I enjoyed it. This is probably more pumped up than I usually get about uh, about making these videos, even though I do love making them. But it's it's different when you do you know, one of your favorite songs. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned a lot about this song and about Dan's vocals. That's really the goal. Go watch Arcane and then... Please do support me by liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, and joining my Patreon family. Uh, that's the best way to support me financially, which is uh, keeps the lights on. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.